In this video, we're gonna talk about four traits that mathematicians have. The first trait that mathematicians have is that they work extremely hard. Most professional mathematicians do math as a full-time job. So they wake up every morning, they go to work someplace, they teach a couple classes, and then they do math. So math is like a regular part of their lives. As they drive to work, they're thinking about math problems. Sometimes when they're on their way home from work, they're thinking about math problems. When they go to lunch with their other colleagues, they talk about math problems. So they work extremely hard and they're always working on math. And I think this is super important to remember as someone who is not a professional mathematician. Like say you're just a student taking a math class. If you realize how hard these other human beings have to work to even just keep up their regular jobs, to just maintain you know, their research standards, then it makes it easier to understand why it's so hard for, for you as a student to keep up. It's because math is hard, and it's hard for everyone. So I think that realizing how hard the professionals actually have to work makes it more manageable. You say, okay, Terrence Tao says he works at least 60 hours a week sometimes. I read that on his blog years ago. So 60 hours a week, and he's Terrence Tao. He's like one of the greatest mathematicians alive today, and he still has to work sometimes at least 60 hours a week. I think that says something about math. It just requires a lot of hard work, and that's why mathematicians work extremely hard. The second trait of successful mathematicians is that they do tons of problems. Now, you might say, well, I have tons of homework problems. Yes, but realize this. In order to become a professional mathematician, you actually have to go to school for several years. And so throughout that process, you have to take lots of math classes. That means you actually have to do tons of problems. So think about all of the problems that a professional mathematician had to actually do to even you know, get to the point where they became a professional mathematician. So professional mathematicians do tons of problems. Mathematicians do tons of problems. The third trait of successful mathematicians is that they fail a lot. And I, I do think that this is somewhat comforting to people because when you see someone who is you know, so far above you and who seems like they just they just know so much they're like math gods and when you realize that they fail too then it kind of makes our failures a little more okay if you think about andrew wiles he's the guy who proved for matt's last theorem he spent years working on the proof of for matt's last theorem and when he presented the proof an error was discovered he had to go back and then redo his proof he had to fix his proof. Now, I don't know the details of the proof. It's a really complicated proof. In fact, there's an entire book written that tells you how the proof works. Like, there's a book that describes the proof. That's how hard it is to read his paper. There's an actual book that you can buy on Amazon that talks about the proof. <laughs> so, pretty ridiculous. So, that is failure, right? Working for years and years and years and then failing. But he was able to rise up from that and overcome. So whenever you feel like, you know, you're failing and you're just not getting it, think about a guy like Andrew Wiles. I mean, how, how did he feel when his proof, you know, was not accepted? So professional mathematicians, they fail a lot. So it's okay to fail. The fourth trait that professional mathematicians have is that they tend to gather lots of examples. As a concrete example, the late mathematician Paul Halmos used to always say that whenever he was learning a new math subject, he would gather as many resources as possible. So he would try to gather as many books and examples on a new subject as many papers, as many things as he could, and read as much as possible and go through as many examples as possible. And that's how he was able to learn. So those are four traits of mathematicians. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.